saying goodbye to a fallen hero. A procession escorted Deputy Michael Magley's body for one of his final trips through Pinellas County. He was killed on duty yesterday. Today was an emotional one for local law enforcement and everyone who knew him. We have team coverage tonight of the procession and the investigation into his death. Candace Avila spoke with those who knew him, but let's begin now with Emerald Morrow live near the funeral home in Holiday Emerald. Lots of people paying their respects along the way today. Oh yeah, Allison, and this is an incredibly difficult moment for this community, for law enforcement, but particularly for that family. And it's moments like this that community matters the most, and they have rallied around this family to let them know that they are not alone in their darkest hour. Now, that show of support was seen all throughout Pinellas County today. And this is something that, again, is just so incredibly important that they do. And on the drive up to the funeral home, you could see people starting to line the streets to pay their respects as they waited for the procession of law enforcement to start. Now that started this afternoon around three o'clock at the medical examiner's office on Olmerton and traveled all the way up to US 19 to the funeral home. Now we are seeing law enforcement from all over the area give support because this is what law enforcement does. When they lose one of their, one of their own, they stand strong and they stand together. And today they stand for Deputy Michael Magley, who gave his life to protect others. The sheriff says yesterday Magley was putting down stop sticks to halt a drunken driver that was driving erratically to escape law enforcement after emergency crews found him passed out in his pickup truck in Tarpon Springs. The sheriff says that man crashed into Deputy Magley's cruiser, pinning him underneath. Now, Deputy Magley, he was 30 years old and he had been with the sheriff's office since 2013 and he leaves behind a wife and two very young children. My colleague Candace Avila, as she looks into his life and legacy. It blows my mind when I saw this picture online that I, my, I just knew like my heart sunk and I remembered that picture we had taken with him and it, it broke my heart. It really did. As friends and coworkers set up a memorial for fallen Deputy Michael Magley outside the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, Christine Rittenhouse remembers meeting him while delivering gift baskets. It was actually in November. It was, it was the week of Thanksgiving. We wanted to give thanks to um, our local heroes, so it was, it was just a couple months ago. She says he welcomed them with open arms and was kind and patient with the kids. He just jumped right in and told them all kinds of facts about the job and, you know, crack some jokes and he was just really easy and he was um, very sweet. His impact on the kids was a positive one. They still remember. She says even though they only met briefly, the loss still hits hard. I tried so hard not to cry. The more I see his face, you know, I just get more sad because I have a daughter. You know, I just can't imagine, you know, him not being around, you know, for his family. His loss sending ripples throughout the community as his memorial grew throughout the day. The sheriff's office saying they plan to announce a memorial account managed by a bank for his family. Christine also inspired to act too. We're trying to see if we can come together to somehow um, either send in a donation from the youth group or write a letter to you know his family with the picture that they took expressing our prayers and hoping for healing.